Welcome students to science class. I'm your host, T-Pop. Now this is the first video in a slew of videos you'll hopefully get throughout the year dealing with, dealing with the different things that you'll be learning. Now whether you're in physical science, chemistry, chemistry concepts, or whatever I'm teaching right now, this is a great video to start off with because hopefully we'll be doing lots of labs and lab experiments in the class, as well as learning content. Now as an introduction, I want to make sure you guys know how to deal with yourselves in class, especially in a lab setting, so something like this doesn't happen. <laughs> That's right. In science, anything can happen. From chemical spills to mascot attacks, I want to make sure you're prepared for it all by teaching you the following expectations as well as a bit of safety. The first rule I'm going to introduce to you is a very important one, and I know one that's hard for students to follow, but there's absolutely no food or drink in the lab. I know it's a hard rule to follow, and you really want to have your morning coffee or your morning donut, but please eat it or drink it before you come in. Throw it as you come in. Don't bring it into the lab. Don't bring it into the classroom. It's for your safety and the safety of others. Accidents do happen. There's also a very important dress code you need to be following when coming into the lab. On lab days, there is a dress code you must follow. This isn't all days per se, but definitely on lab days. Labs can happen at any time, so make sure you're prepared for any one of these items. The first one, you must always wear goggles. They are provided for you, and any time we do labs, you need to wear goggles, unless otherwise specified. Closed-toed shoes are a must. Please make sure that you're not wearing anything that could expose your toes. We will be using chemicals and other things that could harm you, um, and we definitely don't want your toes to get splashed with things. Finally, make sure there's no loose clothing or any loose hair. Ladies and gents with long hair, definitely tie up your hair. Bring in some hair ties or some hair clips. I can't provide those for you. If you have any loose clothing, if you're able to take it off, please do so, such as a sweatshirt, or find some way to roll it up or tie it up so it doesn't dangle, especially near flame. This dress code is not only here to help you be safe, but also to help you be stylish. Now make sure you know where the following safety equipment is and how to use it in case of an emergency. Here's your typical pull the pin and shoot fire extinguisher. This is great in case there's a fire in the lab. However, do not shoot this at people, especially if people are on fire. Coming over here, you can see here's our fire blanket. This is the one for people. Make sure that the person who is on fire stops, drops, and rolls and smother them with the blanket. In case of a fire emergency, make sure you know which equipment to use. Also, make sure you take care of equipment. Don't be like this next guy. <laughs> Come with me. I want to show you a few more things. There's a few important things I'd like you to remember when you're working at a lab station. First, take a look. Your station number has a coinciding drawer or bin that houses all of your equipment. Make sure you take good care of this equipment. Know what's in there to make sure you know what everything goes back, and make sure everything's clean and organized when it's put back. Next, when you're lighting a Bunsen burner, it's a good idea to always light the match before you actually turn on the gas. You are welcome to do this in partners, and sometimes it's a great idea to do so. When you have an expended match, just throw it on the table for the time being. Let it cool off, and I'll show you where to put it at the end. If you're going to light something on the Bunsen burner, such as a test tube, make sure that you hold it over the flame, not straight up and down, but always point it away from everybody around you. Take a look at your surroundings. Make sure nobody's near you that can get hurt or burnt. Something can come shooting out very easily. When you're done, Make sure you put everything back nice and neat. 
One technique I'd like you to know that if you ever needed to take some type of qualitative data, data that you need to see the quality, such as touch, see, smell, or whatnot, um, smelling in particular requires a special type of skill. It's called wafting. Don't ever stick your nose over a substance and smell like you normally would. Instead, take your hand and waft it towards your nose. When you're done with the Bunsen burner, make sure it's turned off, or if you think you're going to be away from it for a while. Realize that anything around you that was near the Bunsen burner could be hot. A glass especially is very hard to tell whether it's hot or not. When you're all done and ready to clean up, make sure the expend matches goes in the baby food jars and not in the sink. Clean all your supplies, put everything back in your drawer where it properly, properly belongs, and all will be well. I've seen it in every classroom. Students like to wear their goggles like this instead of the proper way over their eyes. Wear your goggles during lab times. Wear your goggles during lab times. Well, in case of an emergency, you could get anything in your eyes, so please wear your goggles normally. But if you don't, and you do have to go to the chemical shower, make sure you know how to use it properly. If you get spills on your eyes or if you get chemicals on your skin, come in here, hold down the shower, get wet, it's okay. Definitely on your eyes, stay under the water for at least five minutes. Make sure you know where all the equipment is stored and that when you're done with it, you always put it back in its rightful spot. And by the way, if there's ever any accidents, make sure you properly clean it up. Be safe. Put the stuff in the glass container and inform the teacher. Well, that's all I have for you for this lesson. I guess the most important thing is to always be alert and ready for any type of scenario. Now you know where all the safety equipment is, be sure you know how to use it and how to take care of it and how to take care of yourself and others. We'll see you next time.